Are you looking for a great little succulent ground cover uh, for small areas that is just basically evergreen throughout the year and doesn't require a lot of water? Uh, we're gonna talk about the elephant food plant. My name is Eli Hall with AMS Landscaping out of Phoenix, Arizona. This is a great plant. I really love these uh, tiny little uh, shrubs or, you know, they get to be about four feet uh, high. Uh, I don't see a lot of them get that big, but I have seen them get as, as that, I have seen them get that large in height and even in that, that large in width. Uh, but they're a great little ground cover. They're generally smaller. They, they kind of look cool because they've got this, you know, this purple stem with small little leaves. And I'll be sure to add some, some images or some B-roll so you can see here on this video what it exactly it looks like. But it doesn't have any thorns. It doesn't shed. Uh, it's got these small, circular, fleshy, uh, br bright green little leaves. Um, they're, they're roundish. They're just great. They, they, uh, they do have a pink star-shaped flower that blooms, but it doesn't bloom that often here in Phoenix. We just have such extreme heats. It, it you know, very rare do you see that happen. Um, they do grow in full sun and in partial shade. They're uh, very drought uh, tolerant and um, they're, they're very frost. They are, they aren't 100% frost tolerant. They are evergreen, but they will take a frost in the winter if it gets really, really cold. Um, they do need to be irrigated pretty deeply, um, it, at least once a week in the summer when it's extremely hot. Uh, but you know, through the winter time, you can get away with hardly watering them at all. I see people putting them on their regular irrigation system with their regular plants, but they don't really require that much water. In fact, they need a little bit more drainage. They are adapted to our soils here in Phoenix, but like I said, the drainage is, is kind of a concern if you're watering them too much. Another great thing is they're non-toxic to pets and animals. Uh, it's just like in their name. Um, they're actually a succulent that's eaten by elephants. Uh, they even feed goats and tortoises with these. Uh, in Southern, Southern Africa, they're actually a cuisine and added to salads and soups and, and that sort of thing. So if you have any other questions, uh, my name is Eli Hall with AMS Landscaping out of Phoenix, Arizona. Please check us out at azlawns.com. Subscribe to our YouTube page and our Facebook page at AMS Landscaping. Also check us out on Instagram and Twitter at azlawns. Make it a great day.